All this relates nicely to many concepts that are found in ancient civilization. Many concepts that talk about the center of all things having God in it. The Buddha is at the center of all things. That the kingdom of heaven is within our center. Many tradition talks about us turning our senses inwards and going towards the center of our existence to link with the whole universe from the center of our experience. We find this said in many different ways from many masters all around the world in ancient traditions. And in these same ancient traditions, we find very interesting buildings. In this case, we find a very important symbol. The symbol is known as the flower of life. What's intriguing about this symbol is that it's not etched or carved into the rock, but it seemed to be laser burned into the atomic structure of the stone with an instrument that is not easily reproducible even with our technology today. When we look at this symbol and we extrapolate it to three dimension, it looks like bubbles all agglomerated together and it defines the position and the geometry of a 64 tetrahedral grid. Were they trying to tell us something significant about the structure of space in such a way that it could not be erased throughout ages of erosion? Were they trying to tell us something about the technology that was used to move these large rocks along long distances? Well, when we look in ancient Egypt, nowhere do we find an aeroglyphs or a series of aeroglyphs or text that tells us how they built the pyramid, how they moved the stone, how they got the accuracy necessary to do such a job. Now, when you look in China, you find as well the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City is guarded by the Foo Dogs. The Foo Dogs are the analog of the Sphinx in Egypt. They are considered the guardians, the guardian of knowledge. And they guard the knowledge by keeping it under their paw. When we look under the paw of the food dog, what do we find? Again, the same fundamental geometry of these intersecting sphere, in this case, in complete 3D structure, that embeds the tetrahedral array of the vacuum. The Mayans, the Egyptians, Chinese, Hebrew, and many others. Were these ancient civilizations from all different points across the globe leaving us detailed information about the structure of the vacuum? And even the fundamental physics of creation? According to Haramain, the structure of the vacuum and the fluctuations of energy in it are at the foundation of all our reality and even the consciousness that animates it. We are in a relationship with the universe at all times exchanging information on all scales. Has the time come when we can finally wake and acknowledge this powerful connection and even harmonize with it? <laughs>